signs of the times, bringing the news to an occupied America. This planet is controlled and locked down and has been for centuries, if not millennia. And the question is, why? Why must planet Earth be locked down, dumbed down, so thoroughly controlled and for so long? Why? Who and what is behind this? This is just one of the questions asked by Dr. Richard Souter, Laura Knight Yadchik's guest on this week's Signs of the Times podcast. I heard people talking about a purported underground, um, a purported secret underground network of tunnels through which there were allegedly little gray aliens and clandestine or covert elements of the United States military and military industrial complex operating these um, uh, sci-fi like tube shuttle trains. Did you think those kinds of ideas were crazy? It's reality. The, the technology for the electronic manipulation uh, of human uh, consciousness uh, and the human mind is well advanced and it's insidious. There appears to be a lot going on underground, and it appears it's very likely there's a lot going on under sea as well. And we're talking James Bond style. And you say, holy moly, um, what's going on here? Um, this doesn't comport with what I was taught. Uh, it, you see things that are happening that are illegal, unconstitutional, unethical, and massively so. And you thought just of yourself as a button-down um, cool by the numbers, uh, regular person, law-abiding type of person, all of a sudden. So what is, what is the most shocking thing that you have discovered in this research? Well, from the beginning I had strong suspicions about under, under sea bases. From what I was told in 1992 in the middle of the night, it raised questions along those lines, but I couldn't find any documentation. And, but now I have, and the documentation shows unambiguously uh, and this is on the this is this is in the open literature, uh, coming right out of China, like Naval Weapons Station. It's it's perhaps the most interesting document I have along those lines, but certainly not the only uh, piece of evidence that I found that strongly suggests um, that there are large, uh, deeply buried um, manned, and I would also presume womaned, mm -hmm. uh, clandestine installations down in the rock beneath the sea floor, well out to sea, and probably hundreds of miles, maybe even thousands of miles of tunnels down in the rock beneath the sea floor connecting these installations and running to and from them uh, from on land. Have you ever come across any, any hints or clues in any of this material that you've obtained that any of this is connected in any way to any kind of extraterrestrial activity? You see, I've asked that question repeatedly, uh, including of insiders. Uh, this is one. This is a very closely held piece of information. Um, I think it's a way of answering the question without violating a security oath or exactly. multiple security oath. Now, I also have asked uh, more than one person uh, after they give me that kind of response. Well, have you worked with aliens or an alien underground or anywhere else? And in both cases, the answer that I got was, not to my knowledge. Ah. See, again, the answer wasn't, no, that's preposterous, you know. You're off in la-la land. That, you know, wh what do you think, man? And you flipped your lid. The answer was, not to my knowledge. Because, evidently, uh, at least certain factions of the purported extraterrestrials are human, and sufficiently human that they could pass in our present society without attracting undue notice. Exactly. Um, and I, in fact, suspect that that's one of the reasons for the UFO cover-up, which is firmly in place still in the United States, though the lid is loosening in places like Mexico and France and Brazil and China. But in the United States still, it's screwed down tight, as tight as they can get it. What do you think they're hiding? A lot. I'll tell you some of the things they're hiding. Certainly advanced weaponry, uh, far beyond uh, nuclear weapons. No, that they don't care, or that the fact that they have it, their attitude may, may be on the lines of, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So what are you going to do about it? Hey? Would you think that something like that could have been used, say, for example, on the World Trade Center to cause it to collapse I the do. way it did? I do. I, uh -huh. I think that we have... Um, 
that the events uh, at the World Trade Trade Center were highly unusual. Yeah. And and for sure the military industrial industrial espionage complex were involved in the events of that day up to their eyeballs. Ninety nine percent of the population are clueless. Right. And I would say parenthetically, I do not rule out whatsoever one or more and hear me well, one or more clandestine manned space programs and also woman space programs that are going on that we don't know about for decades for decades for decades and, uh, see, mm -hmm. our reality is so controlled that you have this massive show and tell uh bread and circuses to keep the, uh, the the mass mind occupied dumbed down traumatized um malleable and tractable it's no secret we're back around to what jesus said or is alleged to have said a couple of thousand years ago, let those who have eyes to see, see, and those who have ears to hear, hear. And, and, and in essence, the stuff is out there. Either you pay attention to it or you don't. Right. Now, the fact of the matter is the vast majority of people neither want to see it, neither want to hear it, nor do they want to understand it. It matter if it's on the record. Because the people who put it out there understand that the vast majority of people even if they see it, will say, mm, so what? It's really a shame that with all those trillions and trillions of dollars that they're spending for, you know, evil technology, they could be spending it to educate people, to uh, well, reduce population. Is awareness and education. The agenda is to dumb down the masses, and we see that happening. The warehousing of children and students. Uh, it's happened. You have this phenomenon of, well, you're five, six years old. Off to school you go. You go. What's that? You don't want to go? Well, you have to go, you see. And if you won't go, we have these things called juvenile hall. And if the parents won't make you go, we have these things and these people called policemen. And they will come and arrest you, you know, Mrs. Mom and Mr. Dad. You will be arrested because your children are truant. Is it any wonder that after years of that, some of these guys go ballistic? No. Especially after you pump them full of these uh, psychiatric drugs? Yeah. As there is no free will on this planet. Something is wrong. People can feel it. Things aren't right. The school system and the university system, then you have institutional religion like uh, Christianity, uh, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, so forth. Uh, then you have other means of, of social and, and mind control, such as television. And on and on it goes. Stuff. And... The average person does not understand how thoroughly controlled he or she is. Right. And, and, and it happens when you begin to wake up, there's no end to the scales that continue to fall from your eyes. Uh, you, you make it through the first one or two or three layers, only to discover seemingly there's no end to it. This planet is controlled and locked down, up, down, and sideways and has been for centuries, if not for millennia. And the question is, why? Why must planet Earth be locked down, dumbed down, so thoroughly controlled, and for so long, may, if you will, have been short-circuited, to make us a rapacious, um, jealous, greedy, aggressive, greedy, war-mongering species, and that certainly seems to be what the majority of human beings are. It almost sounds like human beings are a, are a curse on this planet, a blight. Well, it's almost like we're the cockroaches of the galaxy. Looking at the uh, what you see in the Bible, for example, in the Old Testament, also looking at the Egyptian record and looking at the archaeological record here in the Americas, uh, from what we know, and much has been held back, by the way, as you know, a great deal has been held back. But it's clear to me Three to 10,000 years ago, there was a, dra a, a race of super, super beings. It may be that there are more than one species of human on this planet, indigenous to this planet. It may be that there are ultra-terrestrials. It may be that there are extraterrestrials. It may be that human beings are common in the galaxy.